What's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man, and welcome back to another Thomas Friends video here on my channel. And yes guys, I'm back with my reaction to more of the Magic Road rewrite by iOS Studios. Now, I am excited to react to more of this because I did my last reaction and it turns out a little bit of you guys liked it because, again, I know I don't get a lot of like people on here that much to know my, I'm not that big of a YouTuber content creator. But I like to be, uh, try my best to be a nice guy with a, you know, big heart and all that. Or, uh, I don't know, I'm talking about all that mushy stuff right now. But what I do know is, is that Bad Rider and Andrew enjoy my reaction, and I guess they gave me a little bit of information on, <clears throat> on, on the film, or something like that. So, the animation that Bad Rider did was interesting, I'll give it that. He did say for the animation, he wanted to make it into more of, uh, it, no, actually, let me rephrase that. He, he, he was saying that he wanted to make the characters, what, what, in the 2003 to, to 2006 thing, I think if I do remember that correctly, kind of like the way they look in a Scooby-Doo form, I don't know, just something like that, I guess. And what's funny is that, is that Andrew said they kind of look like, you know, people from Rescue Hero. I don't know if I do know what that is or not. I'm sorry, it's just I know I'm not the brightest at knowing everything. But again, I like to, you know, see what is on, you know, online all that. Whether it is old, new, or present. Heck, I think maybe making some new friends and all that. Even though, I don't know where they could... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not like that B or something. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what to say, because I hope this video will make me feel better, because I kind of had a bit of a long day today, as I bet anyone else would. But, man, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just going to get back to you know my reaction to this. So this is my second part reaction to this fan film, and I hope you all enjoy. Yeah, let's do this. But before we do, however, make sure you guys check out the original video down below in the description. Subscribe to, Bat to iOS Studios because he makes really cool videos. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. Twitter and Discord, links are down below in the description. And let's get started on with this video in 3, 2, 1, and let's play. All right, dudes, got the video up right here. The rest of the fan movie film itself, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, the rewrite, you know, by iOS Studios, Bad Writer and all that. Now, last time I was here, as I'm pretty sure you guys might have remembered, or uh, I guess the, the bots or whatever, because, you know, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, last time we were here, there was, you know, the intro of Lily, you know, telling the story instead of Mr. Conductor when she was like an adult and all that. Diesel 10 came back to Sodor. PT Boomer's back in Shine Time Valley. And there was Splatter and Dodge. And Mr. Conductor went to, you know, town and all that. Blah, 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 blah. And I know there's, I don't have like a lot of people on my channel, but there are these other two, I guess, that are, you know, the, that are Tom's content creators that I guess became my new friends. Thank you to Bad Rider and Andrew for being my new friends, even though you guys might not know me that much, but I do know you guys from videos and all that. <sighs> Man, I'm lonely. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just being dumb right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's do this. I hope you all enjoy the rest of my reaction to this, and yeah, let's see how far I go. Far away on Sodor, Back on Sodor. The engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by Diesel 10. Hopefully it won't lag too much, because if it does, then I do apologize for that. Not the video itself, just maybe the video, but not like the- Not like that, that's not me either, do the- Or, never mind, I don't know, just, never mind. I expect this? Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Of course he is. Wobbly wheels. Puffy pistons. Duck pajamas. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered that from Thomas Comedies and the Magic Railroad. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. Calm down, James. All of us have gotten to See? collect Mr. Conductor at some point. There's Emily, so she gets to be in this movie, which is nice. James is right, little Thomas. Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job. Important is big. So? James is a big engine, hmm? Mm -hmm. You Thomas <laughs> are small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny. Little engine. Me, well, 
I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. Says you. Gordon, just leave him alone. Huh. Emily, you always make friends with those tiny engines. Fossy sprockets. All that steam has gone into your funnel. Let's hope Diesel 10 scares Gordon or something. I'm not trying to say he should be scrapped or anything. It's just Gordon's just being rude for no reason. Here comes these two, Spider and Dodge. Yeah, they are Dodge. We'll be sure to give them an April Fool's joke they will never forget. <laughs> What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. True. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the last engine in the legend really exists. So 10. But it was a great history. Go on. Edward told me the story this morning before he left oh, the flat controller Edward. and his wife, Lady Hat. What engine? What legend? And what great history. History, actually. That's I'm different. afraid I told you all I know. Thomas told me and Edward the story this morning, and it seems like Thomas Edward too. knew the story already. Please tell them, Edward. There's, there's well, Edward. The legend that Henry spoke of yeah. is about the lost engine. Yeah. And she has magic that will make her more powerful than Diesel will ever be, that when she is the most unknown train we will ever see, until an unidentified human being with a bicycle came and chased that lost engine. Not to mention Diesel 10 too, because I think both of them deserve credit to, you know, be after her or whatever. Not not saying she should be scrapped or anything. But it's nice to see Edward in this too, even though I did get to see him a little bit in the parody movie. But yeah, it's nice to see Edward and Emily in this, because honestly, I, I know Edward should have been in the movie, but I think Emily should have been out on this too, whether she whether she made it before the other seasons or not. That's why he wants to find her. Just saying. Well, I never knew about what happened to her. Not, not until then now. Can find her. Or whenever. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Not until you can join in this movie. You can do big things, especially when they have smart blue paint like mine. I guess. Oh, this is gonna be great. Let's watch what happens to that little blue puffball. You're ever seen. When Harold the Flopper Chopper flies by here. <laughs> is that right? Hello. There he is with his voice. Oh, <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's start laughing now. <laughs> Idiots. Oh! There's crack and cocaine everywhere! Get out of here, Harold! Bye! Nice seeing you! <coughs> Man. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen to us, was it? No. Uh, no. I'm allergic to dust. This must be what Diesel's finding! Oh. Uh -oh. Honestly, in my opinion, I know Edward should have been in the original movie, but I think adding Emily on it was a pretty good idea. We should definitely make that sometime, you know, for my own fan film, if I do know how to make videos, that is. Yeah, Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor. Where were you? My wife said she couldn't miss our little holiday. Little holiday. We'll telephone to make sure you have a ride. Signed, Sir Topham Hatt. A.K.A. the Fat Controller. Yeah. Huh, I wonder who else is going to be in this besides Emily and Edward too, because I think uh, there should be more characters. Where were you? Are you messing with my stuff? Like, uh, no. Oh. Sorry about that. Carry on. Tone. Yo, watch out for that! The photo fell down. Hello? Oh, good afternoon, yes. sir! Good afternoon, sir. A real honor, sir. Like my family before me. Mm -hmm. And how is Lady Hat? And your grandchildren. Nice. We have a great vacation. That's now, nice. Do you remember what I said while I was gone on my holiday? Watch out for Diesel, definitely. Right. Watch out for me and Pinchy. Eye on Henry's health, certainly. Okay, do you know of... Any other yards? engines? Yes, sir, the three yards. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. What? Ron. I mean... Sorry, Miss Ron. ...will be responsible. Reliable. And really useful. There we go. Okay, now just remember those, then you got it. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's rest. Yeah. And looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. All right. I'll see you when I call you back. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Take care, sir. That was nice seeing him. Actually hearing his voice and all that, instead of like the... Like that is nice here's Tom Hat's voice. Although I think he's gonna appear at the ending of it. Maybe I should take a little look. Oh no, 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 no spoilers. I don't want to see it yet for those that have or haven't seen it. But yeah, um, yeah, like, like Mr. Conductor's father met him before him or something. 
But a little bit of, but I do have a little bit of secret to share though before I continue the rest of this. I know, I know this isn't Cami and all that, but I'm secretly Sir Topham Hatt's nephew, which makes him my uncle. <clears throat> Anyways, that's all I can give the information for now. Anyways, so here we are at the night with, at Timoth Sheds with the other engines. They're all asleep. Even Mr. Conductor, who's trying to get himself ready for bed. <sighs> Well, either if the animation does look like Fire Rescue or Hero Rescue or not, I think this might be a little bit better than the whole Legend of Zelda, you know, old animations. You know, where, you know where the animation memes that, that we get to see where Link goes, Gee, it sure is boring around here. And, you know, the King Hyrule goes, My boy! I, I'm going to... My boy! You know, and all that. I think this might be a little bit better, to be honest, in my opinion. Or it looks kind of the same, but a little different. I'm just putting my opinion out there. <laughs> so who dropped the ball then? Here it is. There you are. You're welcome. I'd like to have a nice hot cup of cocoa. Would you fellas care to join me? I would. No? What do you want to do instead? Go outside and play? Hmm. Well, I can understand that. What do you think? Nope. Why do you keep hitting him like that? You really need a big time out. At least he didn't wake up the others because I thought he was going to. But I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Maybe get a of a drink though. It'll be fine. Right? Yeah. And here comes the Grand Russian Diesel himself. Or myself. Mm, just a little sweeter, I think. Yeah. There he goes, Diesel Head. Things are gonna change around here, puffball. Tin cattles. Oh, yes. It's time for my little bucket of badness to feed itself. Alright, Pinchy. Dinner time. Oh, yeah. Food. That's my Pinchy voice, I think. Drink some food. Now that's better. Here comes. Timber! Oh! Woo! Now you woke him up. You're like, Timber, suckers. You're like, it's hungry time or something. Really, the teddy bear? Wait, where is it? There we go. The cap or hat. Cannonball! Oh! Shoot. Cinder to ashes. It's Diesel. Diesel yep. No. He's gonna kill us. Watch out! <laughs> Twinkle toes. Oh, look. I got a plan, and you're not in it. Yeah. You can't catch me, Diesel. Yeah, see you later, Starscream. Wait, did I just say that wrong? Oh, no. The sparkle's gone, as it always is. <laughs> your sparkle, hey? What perfect timing. Yeah. Now, where is that lost engine? Where is she? You're not clever enough to stop me. Oh, yes, I am. No, oh yeah? What's this? Oh, is that? That's right. Sugar. So buzz off, you know? Shoo. Make the most of tonight, Twinkle Toe. There he goes. Because you won't like tomorrow. That's what you get for making sneeze powder everywhere. Oh will you stop with the jokes already? Shut up, Pinchy. No, you shut up. Yeah, okay. Imagine if Pinchy did have a voice, though. Like, I'd be, uh, I'd be really good at doing a Pinchy voice. It's, uh, you know, it sounds kind of scratchy and all that, grouchy. But that'd be cool. Mr. Conductor, well, what happened to your sparkle? It's out. I don't know, Thomas. I'll just have to sleep on that. On your sparkle? Not really. I believe that he has to sleep on the problem, Thomas. Correct, Emily. Thank you. Sorry, I keep it. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pause it like that. He he know he knows what that means, Emily. You didn't ha really have to tell him, but it doesn't that big of a deal. But I don't know what happened to the sparkle. Oh, but Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle or the lost engine, you can't travel here to help us anymore. I'll solve the problem. You just go to sleep now. Ah, <sighs> easy for you to say. Let's hope it wasn't that big of a deal, though. Well, at least they're safe from Buzzbox. Because, you know, if he, that's what he gets for, you know, threatening him with sugar, that's what he gets for th dumping the season powder everywhere. And hey, we're back with Burnett Stone. Which is nice, so much back at Shining Time. And, uh-oh, it's... You remember me? It's Boomer! Boomer! Yep! What are you doing back in the valley? It's Boomer. Well, I came to find you, Burnett. Did you? So, uh, how's Tasha? Really? She's in a better place than safe from harm by you, Pete Boomer. True. I see. Yeah, and I, uh, I've heard about her death not so long ago either. I bet. What I've also heard is that you're hiding that lost engine somewhere in this mountain. So? With that, I shall ask you one normal question. 
Let me guess. Where is she? Knew that. I'm sorry, Pete. But you'll never hurt her. Well, not, well, I'll tell you. Not as long as I'm around. It's not my fault that Tasha chose me over you. Nice. Grr, that's P.T. Boomer, you old pile of dirt. Shoot. Don't you think for one minute that you and Tasha are the only reasons why I came here in the first place? Wow, these two definitely had a bad relate, bad friendship or now, something. I shall ask you again. Where is the lost engine? I'll never tell you, Boomer. Oh, sure, that's rich. You think you're smarter than me, don't you, Burnett? Might be. But don't you think I don't know what you work up in Muffle Mountain? Hmm? I will find that lost engine, and I will destroy her before you can even bring the magic back in her. Really? Never! See ya! Open up, Burnett, or I will break down that door with my fist and throw you in the fire before getting through that lost engine! Do you understand me? Yeah, right. Try doing so. The fumes in that stupid motorbike of yours will probably get the better of you anyway. Nice. Oh! Yeah, you know what? Try ramming that door down. It's not gonna work. And if you don't get off here right now, I'm calling the police because I'm helping out my neighbor, Burnett. My, my favorite person, Burnett Stone. Fine then. Go. But you can't hide in there forever, Burnett. Really? Neither can you hide that little engine as long as I'm here. He won't tell you though. Tomorrow, you'll wish I never returned to Muffle Mountain. Ever. That makes two of us, comrade. Come on, let's get out of here. I like doing my Diesel 10 voice. Oh, Tasha. You were never that fond of Boomer when he tried to date you either. Don't you think there's something more I can do for our dear engine lady? At least Boomer's gone. But he, yeah, you're not, he's not, he's not going to figure out where Lady is. Or, he, he won't tell you, he won't tell him anything. But at least everyone else is alright for now. Just have to stop the evil. You okay, Mr. Conductor? He's awake. Sparkle, magic, gold dust, Look at the trailer. Airway, buffers, lost engine. The family always told me, as long as there is a railway, there will be harmony. As long as there is gold dust, there will be energy. You will never have to worry. <laughs> Alright, yeah, good night. How a partner? Yeah, sure. What? I was just joking. Here comes the dream. Let's see how it looks. Wait, what's this? Boomer was here. Welcome to Boomer Town. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, why does this like? Why does this painting right here look like a tank? <laughs> oh! Wow! All right. Well, you, uh, look, look at that. Look. <laughs> oh, now I'm probably gonna get demonetized because of this. I don't even know if I am monetized or not. But is, is that really a pingus? You know, I'm just gonna say it'd be a little more appropriate or something. Say so a joke about it. It's a pingus, dudes. It's a pingus. Why is there a pingus right there next to the boomer sign? Sure, he might have like vandalized everything and all that because it says boomer town and all that. Like he done all this, but come on, really, man. Like you know, I, I'm just gonna pretend it's nothing else because the, a pingus. That's what it is. You know, like a, a Eggman's loose mustache or. That's a hammer, yeah. Just it, it's a hammer, YouTube. You hear me? That's a hammer, a brown hammer. Bad right, you better have some explanation about this. The magic is all gone. PT Boomer. Sorry. He didn't believe in the magic. He doesn't. And now he's turned the hog with a shiny time. He's nuts. So the magic is gone. So do too. The boomer who finally destroyed shiny time. Everyone with the magic from this place. Give <laughs> Even Diesel 10, you know. You better wake up now. They better stop Diesel 10 and Boomer from taking over Shiny Time and Sodor, right? Like, wake up! What's going on with our railway and why? My universe is in danger. I've got to find more gold dust! Better. You know, that background music kind of reminds me of the music from Cars 2 where Finn and Holly were, like, trying to free themselves from the clock. I, I forgot what that music's called, but I think I remember hearing something about that. Man, it's been a long time since I last saw Cars. Do you guys think? Do you guys think they're ever gonna make a Cars Four? Because if they made a Cars Three, then why not a Cars Four? Next morning, Mutt traveled with Billy Go. to the big city station. Who's Mutt? Mutt was sure that I could help my grandpa, and that together, me and Grandpa <clears> could help <throat> Mr. Conductor get his sparkle back and prevent Boomer from what he would be up to next. But only There's Lily. someone special at Shining Time first. A 
attention passengers. Yeah. The mm -hmm. train to Muffle Mountain departs from There's track Lily. Last stop, the Muffle Mountain. Trying to head to the right train. Time will depart from track four. Or the wrong train. Time track four. I don't know. Yeah. I don't suppose you know where track three is, do you? He might. Yeah, he's like, yeah, follow me. You do? He does. You see that one? It is need. Well, why not? Trust, yeah, trust a dog that you don't know of. You know, it's fine if you can follow the dog. You like, he's, he's adorable though. Be friendly. I hope you're right. I'm sure he is. Mutt was feeling pleased with himself. He had put me on the wrong train, but he knew he had done so for the right reasons. Yeah. And now this is the part where... Oh great, here comes more copyright claim music. <laughs> Am I right? First there was a picture of a... Of, of, you, know, of a you know what? Of a, of a pingus or a brown hammer. Which I'm, I'm gonna say that for the sake of not being demonetized something. Because I don't know if I am monetized or not yet. But yeah, not only was there was a picture of that. But now, I, I, but now there's probably this one. You know, I, I know the moon was feeling all that. Uh, what's, ne what's next? Like... What's next? Like, me getting a comment from- me getting more comments from more bots? What do I say? Of course I might, because I've been getting some comments that were just bots and all that. But, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Bad writing, you better have an explanation for what that brown hammer was doing there, that pinkish hammer looking thing. I don't know. Man. But at least she's on the wrong train, which is good, because- th because this will take her to- Shining time, you know? The shining time, and then the Muffle Mountain and all that. Yeah, do you think? Thanks, Stacy. Hopefully you can do something about sending Lily over here once she gets there. Is that, Bye. Is that Burnett? I think that's Burnett. There's Boomer watching him. He's like, I'm gonna watch you, Burnett Stone. You don't know that I'm even here in the shadows. Oh yeah, it is Burnett Stone. I, thought, I, I was wondering because of the different haircut or something. I don't know. So now what? Oh. Almost made me jump a little bit. Lady's whistle, though. I gotta be honest with you, dudes. That whistle of her, that echo whistle of hers kind of gives me chills still, you know? Like, I, I I think it still does to this day because of how you can, like, hear the echoing of it. I'm just being honest. Though. Left a bit. Oh, God, this. Right a bit. Uh, up a bit. It looks like he's picking his nose! <laughs> really? Okay. Never mind. Took a little gone now? Or... No, still itchy. Okay then. Hey, Mr. C. Why do you look so tired? Is it because I'm red? Most of it. These intense as red is a very tiring color. I mean, you do but brag Mr. about it sometimes. C? Red looks so nice against the snow. And the sun. It's not me, is it? Oh, no, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh, good. Just like my sparkle. Yeah. Or at least it was. And it must be again. Yeah, red's not that bad of a color. I think it's alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry James. about that though too. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay, Mr. C. Keep your steam up. See you, James. Sorry if I mocked about your pain a little bit. Wait, the Blue Mountain Quarry? What are we doing here? This is a bit of a surprise. So are the narrow gauge engines going to be in this movie too? Thomas, they are. So great nice. For you to get the trucks for okay. me, right? Mm. I mean, they're the ones who don't misbehave, right? Oh, uh, they were being nice, unlike Diesel Ten. Diesel Ten. That's right, you little midgets. It is I, the great Grand Russian Diesel. <laughs> See, if you guys are wondering, I'm trying to combine, like, you know, a mix of Heavy's voice plus S Keith Scott's voice in the print works. It's true. He was here, that, and he was bullying at my friends. Even me. And Mr. Conductor. So, did Mr. Conductor behave at him? Mostly. With the sugar. But his sparkle is all empty. Okay. That, and he can't go back to Shining Time Station now. Oh, twiddly dee. I hope he gets his sparkle back soon. He will. I just know it. Yeah, I wish. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure he'll be able to get his sparkle back. Right, Mr. Conductor? Right, Mr. Conductor? I'm sure he'll be able to find it. He will. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing right now, but okay. What happened? Where's the windmill? Heck. That's where I'm supposed to be. Oh, never mind. Well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. 
I... Okay, that's kind of loud a little bit. I know you're trying it again, but it's not going to work. Or Can you please stop blowing that dog whistle? I'm a human, thank you. A handsome human. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just messing around. No, my gold dust really is all gone. For now. And if I can't find the source of making more, I know how bad the consequences will be. I saw them in my dream last night. And that assault of Diesel 10. My family never really told me what to do in a gold dust crisis. Really? They only said if you can't remember the clue, the windmill will remind you, but where is the windmill? Somewhere on Sodor. And what is the clue? Clue to the gold dust. Let me just pause here for a second. So, yeah, um, I, it's interesting how they added the narrow gauge engines into this fan film, but I wonder what would happen if it was some other engines, like, you know, like Duck, Donald, Douglas, and Oliver. Heck, even Toad, like, that would make a little more sense, you know, because I think they deserve to be in this movie, to be honest. Or I don't know. Smile, you steamers. Hey, Birdie. Day. Brum, brum. And hey, look, all the steam team is here. Look, there's Thomas, Percy, Gordon, Emily... Henry, Toby, James, and Edward. All the steam team in one meeting. This is exa this is exactly how the original movie should have been. You know, Percy in, in the meeting too. I, mean, I don't know why he wasn't there. But it's okay if Edward could or could not have been in this. But uh, Emily as well. Like, this is how it should be, you know? I like how creative this is. It's not sunny. Because Mr. C is not at the windmill. I looked everywhere to find him. Not there yet. I think his sparkle is all gone. We all know Me it too, is. Me too, Thomas. I heard him talk about it in his sleep last night. Everyone did. My smoke box doesn't feel sunny. It feels stuffed up. I bet. Do you think you could just sneeze out at the bridge from those boys who threw rocks at you? I remember that. I tried, but it's been blocked or something. Nasty fumes from Dingy Diesel, hmm? Dingy. And Diesel is coming after the lost engine. D10. And worst yet, if he finds her, I have the sudden feeling it will destroy us all. Yep. What? Even an engine was as big as me? As much as I don't want to say it, Yes, Gordon. Even you. And even an engine as small as I am. I'm afraid so, Percy. Probably you too. You gotta be kidding me. So what? It's not a big uh, deal. It's like it's just mentioned too. Zintite. Say it. Don't spray it, Thomas. Zintite. Is everything alright, Thomas? You good? Yeah, I'm... I, I'm fine, Toby. I just have some sneezing powder up my funnel. I bet everyone still. does. Nothing like Hold a on. little coal won't take care of Thomas. And water. <laughs> right? <laughs> Very funny, Gordon. I still got no jobs to yeah. do. I have to go find Mr. Conductor. Sorry about that. Let us get back to work. That's what he would want. Nice meaning. How about a race, Thomas? <laughs> Sorry, Bertie. I can't today. I have to be a real useful engine and solve some mysteries instead. I guess that means I win. Perhaps another day. <laughs> You know, I, I think that's how the meeting should have been with the Steam Team. You know, that'd be interesting. Awesome. Here comes George! What's up, George? Good morning, George. Hello. Huh. Nothing good about it. Why? You use this, blue puffball. this guy. How? Climb up. Turn in the ropes. And that's Andrew voicing I George right there. <laughs> Knock it off, Birdie, with your from from. But yeah, that's uh, that's Andrew voicing George right there because I also did forget to tell you guys, which I I don't know if I did forget or not. Not only does he voice as Diesel Ten, but he also voices as George in this one. I think the George voice is pretty good, like that, except for that scratchy though. What's that? I don't know. I thought I thought someone was right behind me. What's this? Is it the vegetables? It looks like it is. Wait, let me see what this is. I notice you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishy rabbit. Ah, oh, okay. It's the Renault here. This looks interesting. I know you've left your thinking cup behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishing the rabbit. I was putting on my invisible glasses. I don't really wear glasses. Well, well, well. Huh. How very thoughtful. Try it. All right, hang on. Music. Plane, drain, stain in game, chicken, mountain, fountain, Tr that might be something, Stoughton or, I think I'll try the celery, maybe, I don't know what rhymes mountain found to be honest, but whatever, oh look the celery has leaf on it, interesting, yeah, it was... sausage, bicycle, there he goes again, toothpaste, beach, you figure it out? Wait a minute. I think he did it. 
Beach. Yeah. Beach. That's beach. That's beach. Nice. <laughs> yeah, boy. On the and the telephone. Alright. Don't forget the hat. The nice animation right there. And here we go with Gordon, Edward, and George. Destroy us all. Huh. That's what I would do. Turntables are no good. Turn it into a ramp. Pull up. Turn it into a roller ramp. Really? So, I see you want that turntable, eh, George? It's really neat. Whoa! Who are you? Interesting. Oh, just a devious diesel in need. In need of an ally. Another friend. I despise steam menus as much as you despise rails. So I have a plan that you are like. What? Looks like those two of them have something in common, I guess. What makes you think I will intervene? Your promising reward. Huh? Reward? What reward? The turntable. Just think about it. Turn it into a roller rink, George. You be oh, able crap. to run around it for Sorry. hours and hours and hours. Hmm. For hours and hours and hours, eh? Yeah. Hmm. I will love it. Interesting. Good. Pinchy. Now stop daydreaming and listen to my plan. Oh, right, 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 right. So what's the plan? <clears throat> Boss. There we go. What? Boss? That's right, Edward. Hey, Gordon. Are you hearing any of this? I am. None of my concern, Edward. There's we Douglas. Must find out more. What's Diesel planning next? And what would he want with George anyway? I think I know what. I want you to destroy every last set of buffers on Sodor. One of them will lead to the magic railroad. He knows about you it. You are the perfect steamroller for the job, George. When do we start? Never. In a million years? Immediately. Damn it. Are you prepared? Yes, boss. Okay, Nothing sorry. to it. Let's go. Perfect. I knew that splot would count on you. They're working together now. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, heavens. Just as I suspected. Diesel's using George to ram the buffers. He knows about them. I must warn the others about this crisis. Tom says too. We better hurry, Edward. Yeah, better warn everyone else. Like Gordon. And the others, right? Edward, hold up. Warn them about what? About Diesel 10's plan, Gordon. With George. I'm sure to not let everybody down. Yeah. Huh. Guess he's old, but useful after all. Well, he's not that old, to be honest, because, you know, everyone's useful these days. There you are, Mavis and Toby. There's Mavis. I must have to warn the Toby others. Too, though. Calm down, Edward, and tell me what happened. Nice. Well, Murder. that's because it's a, uh, it was a secret. A okay, secret that it was a location to the lost engine. I guess. The lost engine, but it was an old-fashioned hoax. Oh, it's supposed no. to be. This is no Twilight Zone, Mavis. Please believe me. Yeah, no Twilight Zone or, uh, or no parody. Okay then, we'll make sure that no one ever gets close to the buffers. Nice. But. And just like that, I think I might have to end this here because I feel like I'm talking too much and I'm sorry that I am. It's just, I love talking, you know, like Salty when he, d when he t tells his Salty tales and all that. Yeah, I think I might have to end this here at, with the nice view of the beach because no doubt that we're going to see Junior here later on. But Mavis in this movie too? That's nice. Like, I think, you know, I, I, I guess Mavis deserves to be in this movie too, along with Salty, because... I mean, I think he might appear later on. I don't know. But yeah, interesting that the narrow gauge engines and Mavis into this. Like I said, if it was, you know, one of the other engines, like, you know, <clears throat> the no, the Great Western Harbor engines, like Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, and Toad, then why not Mavis, Salty, and Boko, and I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. I, I know it might be a lot of characters, but I could definitely try my best to come up with that. Maybe some deleted scenes too. But I hope y'all enjoy my reaction to this. I hope we can forget about the whole Pingus Brown Hammer thing that I saw in Mr. Conductor's Dream. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Yep, that's it. That's it, everyone. That is my second part reaction to the Magic Road rewrite by iOS Studios in association with Bad Rider and the help of Thomas For Formers Wars, aka Andrew. 
Now, this is looking really awesome so far. I'm gonna give credits and I guess, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna like how they added the narrow gauge engines at the Blue Mountain Quarry and Mavis into this because we are, yeah, there was Toby and Mavis. It's interesting of how they of how he and the others decided to add Mavis and the narrow gauge engines on here. Which I I kind of thought it was going to be like my other favorite characters. I'm sure you guys might have wanted or something. Like I, I know we saw in the background, I guess, like Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, heck, even Toad, Boko, Mav uh, and Salty. And even Mavis because they are on there. But it's okay because... It, it, it's their it, it's their decisions. I'm not controlling or anything. I'm just putting my opinion out there I'm just saying it like that But maybe I could add them in the background or something sometime like little short cameos and all that whenever I do get the chance that is Because that's pretty much all I got to say for here, I guess So yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoyed and enjoy seeing some of the characters on there because I think it's interesting of adding Mavis on there narrow gauge engines maybe but Mavis I guess, I guess she deserves to be in this too along with the others if they are if they do get to be on here besides Harold and Birdie also that steam team meeting what was exactly how it should have been in the original movie I mean I, I mean either with or without Edward and Emily on there because Percy should have been in that meeting too and you know instead of like later on Thomas and yeah I guess it, it would. I guess it would also make sense. It'd be interesting to see Edward in there too, and em Emily as well. That's interesting to see both of them in that meeting as well, because that's how the meeting should have been. Nice of adding Edward and Emily on there because it's really cool. And uh, yeah, and the animations for the humans. The the still. I still think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if I see any rescue hero differences, but what I do know is that they kind of look like the. The Legend of Zelda characters from that old video game, you know, the, those memes that we see on YTPs where Link goes, Gee, it sure is boring around here, and King Hyrule goes, My boy! Like that, you know? I think the animation that Bad Rider does might be a little bit- I think the animations for the Shining Time characters might be a little bit better or sim- might be similar or- might be similar to the Legend of Zelda- to the old Legend of Zelda video game ones, but better, you know? At my opinion, I don't know about rescue heroes, but I'm gonna have to end this here because I think I feel like I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, guys. It's just I like giving explanations and all that because I feel like I'm game theory or map path, but explanationable. So without further ado, I'm gonna have to end this here and do my reaction to part three tomorrow when I do get the chance. That is. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video because I sure did. And I guess to Bad Rider and Andrew, if you guys possibly have like a, I don't know, if you guys use Discord or something like that, or Twitter, I don't know, because I'm okay with seeing you guys sometime in person, like, if we ever do get a chance, that is, like, I'm not rushing anything, I'm just asking, I, I just thought i ask, or I don't know. But yeah, thank you all again for watching, I'm Dan the Man, and as always, I will see you guys next time, in the next video. Bye bye Bye!